In chapter 13 of 2 Kings, we see two evil kings sitting on Israel's throne and the prophet Elisha's final prophecy. The kings, Jehoahaz and his son Jehoash, reigned for a total of 33 years in Samaria. And the Bible says the same thing about each of them. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight. They refused to turn away from the sins that Jeroboam had led Israel to commit. In verse 14, we're told, when Elisha was in his last illness, King Jehoash visited him and wept over him. And in his final prophecy, Elisha proclaimed that Israel would have victory over the armies of Aram. The king of Aram had oppressed Israel during the entire reign of King Jehoahaz. But the Lord was gracious and merciful to the people of Israel, and they were not totally destroyed. He pitied them because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And to this day, he still has not completely destroyed them or banished them from his presence. And here's what I hope you'll do today in response to this chapter. Take some time and give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his grace. He could have and probably should have destroyed you and I many times over, but he didn't. He was gracious and merciful to us. He pitied us like he pitied the people of Israel because just like he remembered his old covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for the Israelites, he remembers his new covenant based on the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for you and I. And to this day, he has not completely destroyed us or banished us from his presence. I grew up in church singing the doxology. It's a short hymn of praise and glorification to God that originated in the mid-1600s. As I close by reading it this morning, I hope you'll repeat it with me and then take it with you and praise the Lord throughout your day today. It goes like this. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost.